Hey guys, we're back. This time we're going to be talking about the World of Tanks miniatures game again. And I've had a bunch of people asking me about the differences between the models of the original game and the World of Tanks version. And I'm going to compare them now. There really is very little, if any, difference between them. So we'll get right in and take a look. So I've got a bunch laid off to the sides here. As many as I could that I had both models for. So we're going to start off with the starter sets. So the starter set for World of Tanks miniatures comes with the Panzer IV here. And it's got the full side armor on it, which I can't remember what it's called. And we'll compare that to the original miniature, which has, again, all that armor on there. And there's little minor details but literally they are the exact same uh, model kits. And the only details different are ones that you could put on. In fact, I don't think there's any on these. But there's different uh, parts that you could put on yourself when you build the models. But in a direct side-by-side -side comparison, I don't think you could tell the difference. Now I have primed my tanks in the Panzer Grey. They originally don't come in that color. Uh, they came in kind of a khaki color, and I primed them because I like the Panzer Gray. You can see it's a slightly different shade than the ones they come in now when you put them right next to each other, but they're close enough, I think. But yeah, those two, exact same model. People were comparing size to wonder. These are from the Gale Force 9. Tanks game, also used in Flames of War, and these are from the World of Tanks miniatures game. The next one up, still from the original starter set here, is the T-34. And again, you can see they are slightly different color now. This is bare plastic. These were molded in colored plastic, where these are actually primered in that color. But uh, the tank itself is nearly identical. Uh, I think mine has like an extra panel here, but I put that on myself. And you can see here, yeah, these fuel tanks are actually something I added from the bits that come with it. The major difference in these between the World of Tanks version and the old uh, GF9 tanks, uh, Planes of War model, is that this one came with additional parts, so you could use it as a T-34-85 as well. And have the bigger gun, as well as, like I said, the fuel tanks and customizable parts. Other than that, though, they are, again, the same model. So anybody complaining or, or asking about contrasting and comparing sizes, they are literally the exact same uh, models over again. Oh, and these front fenders here, there was a round option as well as a squared off option. I just happened to use the squared off option on mine. So those were also, could even be the same if you wanted them to be. It looks like the barrel on this hull gun is slightly different as well, which I think they came with multiple options for that as well. I don't remember now. Next we have the Sherman, and this is probably the oddest difference because I don't have this exact model. They did make it. This is the early war Sherman, um, where this is a later variant. Even um, I believe they even called it the Sherman Jumbo, which turned out to be a different tank altogether. But uh, based on the same chassis, this just has reinforced armor in that. But it's the closest I had to a Sherman, and they can be used as either in the game. But again, this is slightly larger, but it is a modified chassis. They did make this same model. I just don't have that one. And you can tell this little hole in the top here is actually for this pintle mounted machine gun, which the new ones unfortunately don't come with, which kind of sucks. But um, again, the, the model kit you had to put together yourself came with a lot of extra bits. 
as well as the turret that actually goes with the modified Sherman. And this was a much later war variant too. But again, those are those are different because I don't have this exact model. It was the closest thing I had. So I, I tried here to at least get the starter set ones. Next we have our Cromwell here. And again, you can see they're identical models in every way. Even the little floodlight off here to the side of the turret is on both. Uh, the color again is a little bit different. These are molded plastic. These are primered. Um, my turret, because of that, my turret turns a little more freely on this one because the primer kind of adds some drag. So the turret on this one, if I try to, yeah, you can see it's a little bit stiffer. It does turn, but that's just because of the primer, nothing else. But again, exact same model, exact same size. So I think you're getting the trend here. But they did reuse the, the models, which is fine, but a lot of people were asking if they were different in scale. Next up here, we have our Russian SU-100s. And again, everything about them is the same scale and everything. Uh, this one has extra fuel tanks on it. That was my doing. I have a couple of these, and I put the extra two tanks here just so I can uh, differentiate the two on the table. And again, you can see slight coloration differences because uh, these are primered. These are just bare plastic. And finally here we have the Stug, which uh, again is the exact same model without the uh, machine gun mount up here, which it actually has the spot to put it. They just didn't put it on. And there's a couple different variations of that too. This is, I think, the automated one. And uh, I think he had a couple different barrel mounts for the gun too, or options. But uh, the tank itself, I chose this one out of my collection because it has the side skirt armor. And look the closest to it. But yeah, these do have slight differences, like under here, under the command copula. This uh, is a little different. I'm not sure what that is. Extra armor plating, maybe? But nothing major. These extra stowage crates are my addition. And um, the this one over here is the World of Tanks one. This one is my Flames of War um, GF9 Tanks one. The other option is they came without the side skirt armor, so you can put other things, like I've added these fuel tanks here. Uh, they're actual... Um, jerry cans or whatever they call them but you can see here the different turret mount so there were different options for that but this one does not have the side armor on it and strangely enough it also does not have that extra plate right here so maybe that was something i added i don't remember adding it but uh i did just notice that my machine gun's missing though there's supposed to be a machine gun that goes there for the person that pops out of these doors to be able to use i'll have to find that it must have broke off but but again, you can see pretty much the same model. Some minor differences are in the fact that these came with multiple components that you could swap out. And that's pretty much it. The last two here for World of Tanks are the Lee and the Valentine, which I do not have equivalents of to show. The Lee is really a Sherman chassis. You can tell really on the front here if you put them side by side. It's a modified Sherman chassis where they've added the secondary uh, tank destroyer gun in here and the turret's slightly smaller with well, a smaller gun to compensate. But the chassis itself is the, the same. It actually probably bears more resemblance to the modified late war variant here. But I think these came out earlier on before this did. So anyway, that's a look at comparing all of the World of Tanks miniatures game miniatures, which all of them are shown there. It's these three here, these three here, and these two, versus the closest alternatives I had from the original game. And you can see definitely nothing scale-wise or that changed. They're identical models, and uh, you should have no problem taking your old miniatures and using them in the new game. Once you buy the real miniatures 
and you get the cards and things for them you can copy them over or you can use the existing stats that are on the cards from the original game to play if you're playing at home just for fun the trade-off is that all of the new tanks have abilities based on their class like the assault gun tank destroyers have a special ability all the medium tanks have a special ability the light tanks have a special ability so you'd be missing out on those because they weren't figured into the points cost in the original so some of the points costs are different some of the crew loadouts are different some of the stats are different so there's that to keep in mind but you should have no problem combining the two games and uh, enjoying it as more vehicles come out for the world of tanks game you'll be able to build larger and larger platoons and eventually i'll be able to make more use of my most of one of my boxes or collections so can't wait for that and uh, looking forward to it. Anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching and I hope this helped you out in comparing the scale and size and all the quality and everything of the models and uh, hope to see you in the next video.